Hello my dear friends good morning to all of you today we are going to start unit number 4 okay and uh, this is the last unit for be students for the engineering students regarding this cpd subject and remaining units uh, will be considered for the pharmacy students okay so this is the last unit for be students and after this uh, cpd subject completed for be students and remaining units are considered by me for the next lecture for pharmacy students okay so let's start this is the unit number 4 so the name of the this unit 4 is achieving sustainable success okay so first of all let me tell you what is the meaning of sustainable success in the simple meaning you can tell that sustain sustain means what sustain means long lasting means um whatever things you achieve in your life will be maintained or we will uh, we can say that remain in your life for the longer period of time so it's a sustainable success means a success which you achieve for the we can say longer period of time and it's a is called the sustainable success in simple language we can say that but but at the contributor level we can say that whatever success you achieve but um, you can also consider the different stock uh, stakeholders are considered in that right so all stakeholder must be satisfied with your success and they have to achieve welfareness then we can say good will uh, good will of your uh, business and this type of feminism you have to achieve through this success for the longer period of time and you cannot harm any stakeholder and then and then you achieve any success is called the sustainable success means you cannot harm any people for your selfishness is considered as the sustainable success okay so let's start achieving sustainable success introduction the success word has different meaning in the different outlook for the contributor and non non contributor person because we already studied in the last units that uh, contributor have a different type of meanings in the life in the success is a different meaning for them and non contributor have a different meaning in meaning of the success right so different people have a different type of ideology different type of perceptions different types of uh, we can say thought ideas so according to that basis we can say that sustain uh, success is depend on that so contributor always maintain on the internal success and they always try to maintain internal success then non contributor always focus on the external success because they only focus on the financial success means whatever the financial rewards and awards they have to achieve they have con consider as a success for them okay non contributor always focus on financial material success and accomplishment and the achievements but for the contributor it has a some different vision like satisfaction development and the sense of pride etc is considered as the success for them okay so we can say different people have the different type of ideology and a non contributor always focus on the financial material success because uh, if they have to get the increase in their profit and increase in their uh, salary so they have to consider as a success right so here consider as the contributor characteristics uh, what are the dynamic characteristics of them so what is the meaning of success for them the meaning of success in the different for all of us for many people the success is factor as a measure against have to be a something to do with a level of influence and the affluence and the lifestyle to live but it's the only way for define a prosperity not a success so sometimes ago a woman who by uh, who by a most of people's choice is to be a exceptionally successful so regularly interview on the national television and radio and fabulous uh, husband and the two gorgeous children but she has a money and the lifestyle the most people only dream for it yet i spent a few hours in her presence and you get the sense of the she feels like her life is a uh, horrible so we can say that different people have the different type of ideology according to that we can define the success 
here is a one considered that woman has a, a more money and a good lifestyle good personal life but his life or we can say she's life is not good but depend on the person success is a being a personal and you can you can live your life the way you want to so the meaning of success can be fam more money bigger house more toys etc so there are the no question about that this is are the things that makes our great life but they aren't think are necessary lead to the fulfillment because it's a one type of we can say there are considered as the uh, part of the life but not there are the necessity of the life so sometimes some people given more importance to this financial rewards awards and they always focus on the financial materials they cannot have the any uh, development for their personal self so they only f- always focus on this material materiality success so is considered as a external success for them when you live your own life according to your values and doing things are meaningful to you and bring you joy then and then you can get uh, we can say happiness in your life if you live your life with your own values because different people have the different types of values and in the we can say all people or we can say different have the ideology and different type of perceptions so different people have the different type of values of the time of money okay so according to that you enjoy your life ultimately the meaning of success is contained with your heart how are you feeling so it's a uh, we can say celebratory and to be engaged and uplifted uplifted excited then you are living a life successful sometimes some people have a we can say thousands and we can say in the lakhs crore we can say there are a lot of money they have but they cannot have a happiness in the life so it's a not success for him or them okay so it's depend on you how you live your life so here consider one jhori window so it's a uh, important that you can easily identify your behavior your ideology through this jhori window this is a one type of philosophy theory jhori window and jhori and jhori and left so and harry ingham this two um, we can say philosopher have to make this jhori window theory that's why it's called the jhori window so in this there are the two uh, philosopher first one is a uh, john and harry so harry and john have to created this theory that's why uh, combination of two uh, words is considered as the jhori window okay so let's see it is necessary to improve a self awareness and the in the personal development among the individuals when they are in the group so the johari window model is the convenient method to use to achieve this task and understanding the enhancing communication between the member in the group okay so it's a very important theory you can easily understand your communication level your uh, we can say your skills your knowledge okay so let's see american psychologist joseph left and harry ingham it's the developed this theory in 1955 so this idea was derived as the upshot and the group dynamics in the university of california and was later improved by the joseph left and the name is called johri the came from the joining word of first uh, two or uh, two names the model is also denoted as a as the feedback disclosure model and the self awareness through this model you can analyze your self the johri window model is used to enhance the individual's perception no uh, on other and this model is based on the two ideas trust and acquire by the living information about you to others and learning yourself from these feedbacks each person is presented by the johari model through four quadrants so this window is me so each four window means helps to be a signify personal information feeling motivation whether there are the information is known by you or unknown by you it's the other four 
point of view here. Here they have to consider four viewpoints. Let's see. Here there are the diagram of this Johari window. So here non, non to self, non to other. It's the open area or we can say that arena. Then not non to self and non by other. It's a blind spot. That not non to others and non by self is a hidden area. Then not non to others and not uh, non by you is the unknown. So in the in this um, window you can easily understand that there are the four quadrants are considered here one two three and four. First quadrant is given you the information that some skills or some knowledge that you know and others also know that you have this type of skill you have the we can say dancing skill you have the production skill you have the uh, some new instrumental theory skill right so it's a open area means uh, means you can say that. Uh, known by you and known by others. It's the open area means all of you, all of the public and all of the uh, your colleagues, your uh, uh, your boss, your uh, employer, employees, and your whatever the stakeholders are considered by you. They all know your skill is considered as the open area skill. Then second one is a blind spot. Blind spot means what? Means not known to other and not by self. Means you cannot know whatever skill you have and others cannot know that this type of skill you have. So it's a blind spot. Means you cannot know about the skill and others also not know about your skill. Then hidden area means what? Means you know that this type of skill you have in your uh, in your uh, mind, but in you cannot disclose your uh, skill to others. Means not known by other. It's a hidden area. Sometimes some people have the different type of unique skills and innovation, but innovative skill, but they cannot explore. They cannot uh, disclose that because. Uh, sometimes they cannot um, such such type of environment they cannot uh, have this type of uh, good environment sometimes they cannot have a support and sometimes they have to uh, go through the monopoly so they cannot disclose their hidden skill then unknown unknown means what not known to other but and not known to self okay so it's the unknown theory Means in this uh, fourth quadrant, you cannot know about your uh, skills and knowledge and others also not know. So it's an unknown theory. So in the simple language, you can easily understand the first quadrant. You know about your skills and others also know about your skill. In the blind spot, uh, you don't know about your skill, but other person are know, know about uh, your skill. Sometimes this type of blind spot are considered in the organization. Uh, whenever employees are working in the particular field and uh, sometimes they have some type of pressure, uh, some type of we can say threat, so they can uh, not explore their uh, we can say skill. But employer can know, and we can say higher authority know that this skill have to this person. So it's a blind spot because the person cannot know that I have a such type of skill, but other person knows about that, right? Then hidden area means what? Means non by you means you have the knowledge that i have this type of skill but you cannot explore you cannot disclose your uh, own skill to others so it's a hidden area not known self means you cannot know and others also not know so let's see in detail first quadrant is a open self area here the information about the personal person, his attitude, his behavior, his emotion, his feeling, his skills, his view will be known by the person. So as we can uh, we and as others also know about it. So it's an open area. Then blind self or blind sport. Information about yourself that others know in a group. But you will be unaware about that. So um, others may be interpret that uh, yourself is differently than you expect. Okay, so it's a blind spot. Third one is a hidden area. Information that is known to you but will be kept unknown from the others. So this can be any person information which you feel to reflect and to reveal. But this uh, includes your feeling your past experience and your fear secret so sometimes you cannot explore your uh, thoughts your skills to other because of these reasons okay 
then unknown so the information which are unaware to yourself as well as to other so this includes the information of the feeling capabilities talent so this can be a uh, we can say one type of your past experience your relevant and unknown for your lifetime because you know not know and other person not know then how you can explore your uh, we can say skills then redefining organizational self interest why do manager so often choose not to focus on the value creation instead of a make a decision that is systematically decrease from the long term value of this business so that's why they have to always focus on the value creation they cannot focus on the one simple thing but always try to focus these things which created value for them this approach is based on the win loss or the zero sum thinking value creation increase your capacity to grow how so be patient when we we'll, uh, it's uh, become to growth is a impatient will comes to creative value okay so if you have to uh, patient your in your life then you have to become a growth but you cannot doing any creative in it creativity but if you have to doing some new in your life then you have to uh, focus on new goals new innovations be better than you your uh, competitors and understanding where and how and how and why value is created and distributed within your markets and your companies promote rewards celebrate managers uh, and uh, uh, managers who see the growth and auto come outcome of focus on the values and creation who has to be a consistently beat their competitor in the creating value if you do do some new innovation in your field then and then you have to do some type of we can say that uh, um competitor and then and then you stay in the competitor market so take the one example if you have to doing some wellfulness and doing some new creativity and the wellfulness for your we can say employees right then and then you have to achieve some new success some new innovative in your we can say fill and then and then you have to stay in the competitive market if you not um, aware about the new things new innovation then you cannot stay for the long longer period of time or you cannot achieve the sustainable success for the life okay demand a higher standard from the manager who put a forward growth and the strategies based on the argument for the patient money and the critical mass economics and the scale for the market leadership if you have to given a good quality to your goods and good um, product and and then do you have to achieve good life then there are the often substitute for the thinking harder about how the profitability different from the competition because if there are the competition in the market there are the perfect competition nowadays in the market so you think creatively and then and then you have to find some new innovative idea and then you stay in the market thank you very much okay so here uh, we completed sustainable success con concept in the simple meaning um, sustainable success you can see that achieve success without harm for the stakeholders you cannot harm any stakeholder like customer any other person and then you achieve the success for the longer period of time it's your sustainable success and it's not considered only the we can say peoples but environment are also considered in that so whatever product you produce always try to less harm for the environment so then and then you achieve sustainable success okay so i hope so that you understand this uh, cpd subject here be students uh, syllabus regarding this cpd subject is completed and be farm have to um, we can say we can continue next chapter from the next lecture and if you have any doubt you can contact me from the any mode of communication and um, last thing i suggest to you that if you not uh, we can say take book from the library then uh, books are arrive arriving at the library so you can uh, take book from the, the library okay thank you very much